Hello everybody, welcome to my first tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial all about the Bevel Profile modifier. It's a um, very handy modifier, especially, of course, I mean, for text and um, spline work. I mean, that's what it's used to. That's why it's here. <sighs> I see a lot of people... Um, no, I shouldn't say a lot of people, uh, beginners as, uh, at least, uh, when they create their text, they are kind of like, okay, they add the text, the bevel, and then they go, oh, I'm going to do an extrude, and then, yeah, I'm done. Right, that's, that looks crap. Most of the time, at least, with these, ah, oh, nah, doesn't look good. It doesn't catch any, um, any lights, any reflections, because it's, it's perfectly sharp. Now they might go, hmm, I'm gonna add a bevel. That sounds good, right? And they barely know how to use this. I never use this. You probably go, I don't know, like so. I don't know. That looks crap. Maybe add a smooth modifier on top of that. I don't know. No? I'm sure you can do something like that. Um, but that's not how you want to do it. How you want to do it is with the bevel profile modifier. Okay? Now, I created my text in the front. Front viewport. Just so I don't have to um, do any rotation on the gizmo or the profile. And I will create the profile in the top viewport here. It is as simple as that. You can use the line, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to do a rectangle, like so, not too big. And I'm going to add a corner radius. It's super simple. And what we need to do is either convert it down to a spline or add a editable spline. Uh, using editable spline is, of course, a non-destructive way, kind of. So we want to remove this part, like so. Now you want to keep this thin, depending on, um, you know, you don't want to have any overlapping geometry, um, especially if you have some type of um, thin font. Now, <coughs> we just pick our profile that we have here. Bam. And it's done. Look at that. So sweet. <sighs> And uh, awesome lighting is set up here. No, not really. Um, that's and that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's how you work with um, uh, the bevel profile. Just another little super simple um, tip for you guys. If you don't like these sharp corners, we can always uh, you know editable spline, pick it. Do a fillet, fillet and just round it off a little bit. Whoops. Oh, whatever. And now you get a... You have roundness. Sweet. Super sweet. So cute. Uh, what else? Well, I... <clears throat> we can, of course... Um, we can uh, just, if you have a spline work from Illustrator or you create it in uh, 3ds Max, you can use this as well. This is uh, useful if you're doing like panels and such for uh, architectural stuff, uh, you know, kitchen panels, whatever it's called. I think it's called kitchen panels. Um, then the bevel profile uh, modifier is uh, great for that as well. And here we, uh, you know, you can add a, whoops, circle, circle, of course this isn't, it's not going to give you a, um, you know, it's not going to be quad or anything, but if it's just going to be like this, it's, um, you know, it's okay. But we need to uh, add a post spline and attach these puppies like so and uh, now we can just add a um, 
bevel profile and pick our profile again and now we have this awesome just look at that beautiful beautiful and no this is not how you want to do holes if um, you have some kind of model you want to model in a hole um, but it's a great way you know quick and dirty um, get things started I guess <coughs> You can, of course, change the interpolation if you want to have this smooth. Is it that? Yeah. Uh, a lot smoother. Of course, it's going to give you a lot, of, a lot of details. Yes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Hopefully, you um, learned something from it, all of you beginners out there want to create some awesome text logos intros whatever it might be um, yeah hope I didn't miss anything if you have any um, requests for tutorials I'm um, you know just post it in the comments I guess I might do it so until next time bye bye